big things are happening. We are about to embark on a new journey here. What is it? What do we got? It's a scorpion. Is a scorpion in there? What? A scorpion bit you? Yes. I found something in the garden that nobody's seen yet, and it's crazy. Oh! I went to bed last night, and I had a sore throat, and my head is hurting right now. <laughs> Jeff and Cheryl and the kids just took off. They're headed home and it's actually quite amazing. We just spent the last 10 days together and we did not get sick of each other. Like the girls didn't fight, the boys didn't fight. We didn't fight with Jeff and Cheryl. And like there was no drama. 10 days, all of us together. That's awesome. Find your people and keep them close. I mean, even though they're seven hours away, but just keep building that relationship. We just had so many nights of the adults just sitting and chatting, talking depth, figuring out life's problems, healing our traumas from our youth, <laughs> all the things. And also teaching our kids how important it is to work through things and that it's okay to take a break and Addie taught us all that it is so great to serve others and we just had such a great time with them and we're gonna miss them and now we gotta figure out when we're gonna hang out again <laughs> and we need to catch up on our sleep because we would stay up to like 2 30 a.m. every night but okay we'll figure it all out okay big things are happening big things are happening we are about to embark on a new journey here with this house and uh, as you guys uh, those who follow closely know we are in also the real estate business and the uh, real estate market is interesting right now um, we put a lot of effort into this uh, rule number one over the years and uh, some changes are happening soon um, like I said, we are about to embark on a new journey. It's gonna be good. You're not texting. Don't worry guys, he's not texting. Sarah's the one that gets to fill out the application for our next adventure. Time for me to go do what I'm good at. Manual labor. Not completely done yet. I got that little chunk back there, but look how sad this lawn looks. It looks so sad back there. I still have to do the edging and blowing and all that stuff. And I'm doing, I'm going to do a cross hatch on it. You know, it's a little bit lower, but man, it just looks horrible. Sad. We just went and did some work over at rule number one, just to get it all clean and ready because one of my best friends is staying there tonight. And I actually haven't seen her in person for like three years. We chat on social media and stuff, but I haven't seen her in person in three years, which is so crazy because we used to be together like all the time, at least once a week, or at least twice a week because of church and hanging out and stuff. But it, it was so fun to see her and her daughter. And it's nice to reconnect with people that we haven't seen forever. Me and Az and Kenny are cleaning our bathroom. We're deep cleaning our bathroom. And my job is the mirror and the counters, which include the sinks. Alrighty. So, there's a lizard in our basement window seal. And I'm going to catch it. So wish me luck. What is it? What do we got? It's a scorpion. Is there a scorpion in there? No. Oh wow, he's huge. I know and he oh, has such wow. a he's long even... tail. That's a Gila monster. That's a blue tailed skink or something like that, isn't it? What's it it looks called? like a Gila monster actually. You get your body. There you go. Look at that. It looks like a Gila, Gila monster. Wow, it's or so. Or a baby crocodile. That's so rad. Okay. So you guys rescued him. 
Okay, so we should probably let him go now, right? Or what do you think? I like him. Yeah, we're I definitely like not going to keep pet. him. No, we can't do that. He's a he's a good pet for outside. Go show your mom. What? The scorpion bit you? No. Yes. Okay, no. Scorpions don't bite. Huh? What? Can you bring it? Hey. A box. Canyon inside. Canyon inside of it? Oh wow, that's a nice looking guy. It looks like a healer monster. There goes Mr. Healer Monster. That's his name. Gila no, monster. I caught him. That's pretty cool. His name is Tired. Gila Baby Crocodile. No, his name is Croc. Alright. Um, I got these magnets for my birthday. I thought it'd be fun to put them to get him and put him on the um, dishwasher. So just for fun. And so many Mark can see him. They'll love him. Look, look, faster, faster. Look, look right here, look. What is it? What is it? Oh what my goodness. <laughs> you found him. Okay, so I decided I want to bake him. So I'm gonna make a bacon egg, ba a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. I almost made a grave mistake. I already took two bites. Such a good sandwich. And then I remembered I'm allergic to eggs. I almost forgot to take an allergy pill. I think I remembered though. Oh, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be fine. Are you helping G do his work? Are you watching videos? Hey, who's on your shirt? Neymar, who's on your shirt? Who is it? Is it a Tannerite? Say, hey, go buy a Tannerite shirt. Like, and you can be like Neymar. Is Neymar on there? Okay, hey, Neymar wanted us to go down the slide. Let's see if we can film this. And slide down at the same time, okay, Neymar? Ready? No, I'm gonna hit my head. Ready? Go! Yay! Hey, Neymar! We, yep. have to, we have to show you something before we leave. Can we do that? Do you wanna see? Let's, Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Canyon hasn't seen yet. Savannah hasn't seen yet. Az has not seen yet. I found something in the garden that nobody's seen yet, and it's crazy. You know what it is? Can I say it? Yes. No. Caterpillars. Absolutely. Now look here. Ready? Can you see one yet? No. Oh, that is huge. You see it? <laughs> that means monarch butterflies. I don't think they're monarchs. These are moths, probably. Uh, no. Oh, wow. Can you see how big it is? That's crazy. It has like oh, eyes oh, looking oh, on the side of it. Mari, you see it? Okay, look, I found 15 in here today. There's another one right here, guys. Look, right there. There's another one. Yep, up there. They're all around the plants. They're like everywhere. Look at that one right there. Look, there's one right there. Right there. That is so cool. You can't even see it unless you're... No, you have to get... You have to be like looking at every... Look, look, look. You didn't see that one, did you? Nope. so cool. Look how it just holds still when you move the branch. That's awesome. Oh, it feels like Mim. Ew. Guess what they're called? They're tomato somethings, aren't they? That's super funny. That's you're, you're saying that they feel like Mim. What? They're called the Carolina Sphinx moth. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so they, their cocoon is like a brown thing, huh? That you find in the dirt? Yeah. So we'll find those in the dirt here in the next few days. Okay, now I'm pretty sure the squash bugs will die. And we can have squash instead of holy squash. Um, I'm gonna make some egg bite things and I'm gonna make cookies because I got the einkorn flour and I gotta try it. It's been sitting at the door for like a week. So I definitely have to try it.
Okay, I got this einkorn flour in the mail and I'm going to make some cookies because I haven't had good chocolate chip cookies for a long time and I'm hoping this flour will work because my friend Amy Dale from the Dale Tribe said that she, her son can't have gluten. It makes his stomach really upset and she's been using this einkorn flour just in her recipes and everyone loves it and he is able to eat it. So I am going to try it. It's an ancient grain. It's still wheat, but it's processed differently than the wheat we have here. So the gluten is different. So if this works, my life will be so different. I actually ordered some of Kate's banana bread because they deliver locally on Fridays. And I'm so happy to, I'm just so excited to eat some because yeah, Kate's banana bread is a gluten-free snack that I can have that tastes just like regular. So I'm hoping this einkorn does the same thing. just all went flat they were bumped up and then I went to take them out and they looked they didn't look like they were done yet so I left them in and they got really dark and went flat so I don't know oh yes maybe einkorn flour isn't the way to go with cookies All right, I'm trying my mac and cheese. Okay, so it's gonna have mac and cheese, but it, I don't like it. It's, I was turned off the heat too early, and so the noodles cooled down, and then stuck together, and so now it's just like the soupy, like, ooh. Anyways, so I'm not eating mac and cheese, I'm making ramen instead. We don't have our own packets, but we do have noodles and chicken bouillon. So I'm just making it myself. Easy peasy. Okay, practically done. I changed into my swimsuit while I was cooking. At one point, this whole floor was covered in Legos and I cleaned up all the Legos, threw them in there. I'm trying to clean up everything else in here and then get everything else done out here. Why are you playing with the ball, Canyon? What? Why are you playing with that? Come on, we're almost done. All of those Legos on that counter needs to go somewhere else as... Okay, so story time. As I keep cleaning this. I went to bed last night and I had a sore throat and my head is hurting right now. I still have a sore throat and I keep having runny noses randomly. So not feeling great. Today was actually felt really short. Thank you guys for joining us today. And we love you guys so much as always. You are worth it, bye guys. Bum, bum, bum. Bye.